This is the Music History Today podcast for July 11th. On today's show, ELO takes advantage of a space-related event. Guns N' Roses fire one of their own and Robin Thicke marries Paula Patton. First up, though, on this date in 1946, Dean Martin recorded for the very first time. In 1962, the event that inspired the Tornadoes hit song, Telstar, happened when the Telstar telecommunications satellite was launched. In 1966, Elvis Presley started filming his movie, Double Trouble. In 1967, Kenny Rogers formed the group The First Edition, the day after leaving his old group, The New Christy Minstrels. In 1976, Andy Gibb married his wife, Kim Reeder. On that same day, Frank Sinatra married his wife, Barbara Marks. In 1979, the Skylab space station burned up in the atmosphere. What does that have to do with music? Well, ELO, a.k.a. Electric Light Orchestra, used the much-hyped event, hyped because for weeks people didn't know exactly what part of the world it was going to come down in, it ended up coming down in the Pacific Ocean, to promote their new song, Don't Bring Me Down. Clever. In 1984, the Music Box Music Video Channel started being broadcast from England to the rest of Europe. In 1990, Guns N' Roses fired Steven Adler for too much drug use, which is saying something in that band. In 1991, songwriters Burt Bacharach and Carol Bayer Sager divorced. In 1992, Jerry Garcia of the Grateful Dead started a line of neckties. In 1994, Richard Ashcroft of The Verve collapsed on stage while his bandmate, Pete Salisbury was arrested for trashing his hotel room during their Kansas City, Missouri concert stop of the Lollapalooza tour. Bad day for both of them. In 1995, George Michael signed two record contracts, one for DreamWorks SKG in America and one for Virgin Records in Great Britain. In 1995, Richard Ashcroft of The Verve was at it again, this time for a much better reason, He got married to Kate Radley of Spiritualized. In 1995, same day, Donna Summers started her United States tour. In 1996, keyboardist Jonathan Melvoin and drummer Jimmy Chamberlain of the Smashing Pumpkins shot heroin after the group show at Madison Square Garden in New York City. The next morning, Jonathan Melvoin was dead from overdosing on that heroin. Jimmy Chamberlain was fired from the group less than a week later. He would rejoin the band about four or five years later. In 2000, Napster sponsored the Back to Basics tour at a time when Napster was allowing people to download music for free. Napster sponsoring a music tour infuriated critics at the time. On that same day, Lars Ulrich of Metallica testified in front of the United States Senate Judiciary Committee against Napster, saying that Napster was involved in copyright infringement. In 2002, two years after Napster sponsored a tour, Napster officially shut down. Also in 2002, John Entwistle of The Who was laid to rest. In 2005, Robin Thicke married Paula Patton. In 2007, the TV music game show Don't Forget the Lyrics premiered. In 2008, Stephen Page of the Bare Naked Ladies was arrested for possession of cocaine, which eventually led to him leaving the band. Also in 2008, the group 2AM was formed. In 2012, Florence Welsh of Florence and the Machine had to cancel a few concerts because of sickness that affected her vocal cords. In 2015, singer Peter Andre married his wife, Emily McDonough. In 2022, Zach De La Rocha tore his Achilles tendon on stage during the second concert of the Rage Against the Machine reunion tour. He continued to perform for a number of shows by sitting down during the performances and then being carried off stage afterwards. In theater, in 1971, the musical Jesus Christ Superstar was performed on stage for the first time, not in New York City or in London, but in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. 
Albums that were released on July 11th include in 1962 when King Curtis released Party Time. In 1968, The Doors released Waiting for the Sun. In 1971, Procol Harum released Broken Barricades. In 1975, Fleetwood Mac released their self-titled album. In 1977, The Village People released their self-titled album. In 1980, Dexy's Midnight Runners did not release their self-titled album. They released the album Searching for the Young Soul Rebels. Also on that same day, though, Ultravox released Vienna. In 1983, Shalimar released The Look. In 1988, Joy Division released Substance. In 1989, Gloria Estefan released Cuts Both Ways. In 1994, The Eagles released The Very Best of the Eagles, not to be confused with The Eagles' Greatest Hits. In 1995, Caius released And the Circus Leaves Town. Also on that same day, Motorhead released Sacrifice and Shage released Bombastic. In 1999, The Sneetches released Obscure Years. In 2000, the Anti-Nowhere League released Out of Control. The Atlanta Rhythm Section released Live at the Savoy, New York, October 27, 1981. Everclear released Songs from an American Movie, Volume 1, Learning How to Smile. Motley Crue released New Tattoo in Kansas, released Somewhere to Elsewhere. In 2006, Fish released Live in Brooklyn. And Soul Asylum released The Silver Lining, while Yes released Yes Greatest Hits Live. And in 2012, The Rolling Stones released The Rolling Stones Live at the Tokyo Dome, Live at 1990. Singles that were released in the UK on July 11th include in 1969 when Diana Ross and the Supremes released No Matter What Sign You Are. In 1975, the Isley Brothers released Fight the Power Part 1. In 1980, Cheap Trick released Everything Works If You Let It. And in 2005, R.E.M. released Wanderlust. Meanwhile in America, in 1962, the Marvelettes released Beachwood 45789. In 1969, David Bowie released the song Space Oddity in America in order to capitalize on the Apollo 11 moon landing, which happened just over a week later. Also in 1969, the Rolling Stones released Honky Tonk Woman. In 1970, The Who released their version of Eddie Cochran's hit song Summertime Blues. In 1972, The Supremes released Your Wonderful Sweet Sweet Love. In 1979, Donna Summer released Sunset People. In 1988, Michael Jackson released Another Part of Me. In 2006, John Mayer released Waiting on the World to Change. In 2013, Pearl Jam released Mind Your Manners. And in 2017, Demi Lovato released Sorry, Not Sorry. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on July 11th include singer Alicia Cara, Peter Murphy of Bauhaus, Scott Schreiner of Weezer, rapper Lil' Kim, Richie Sambora of Bon Jovi, singer-songwriter Suzanne Vega, Bonnie Pointer of the Pointer Sisters, John Lawton of Uriah Heep, Benny DeFranco of the DeFranco Family, singer Peter Brown, Jeff Hanna of the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band, country music singer Bobby G. Rice, singer-songwriter Thurston Harris, singer and actor Tab Hunter, songwriter Thames, singer Natalie LaRose, singer Nina Nesbitt, rapper Lil Zane, singer Audra Miller, rapper Lil Ronnie, Derek Sanders of Mayday Parade, Blues guitarist Blind Lemon Jefferson, bassist and composer Patrice Caratini, guitarist Leona Boyd, singer Michael Rose of Black Uhuru, saxophonist Kirk Whalem, singer-songwriter David Tao, country music singer Scotty Emmerich, jazz pianist Peter Sincati, 
Singer Marie Cernholt of the group A-Teens. Singer Kelly Poon. Songwriter Roquel Billy Davis. Singer Herman Prey. And singer Nikolai Geta. Artists who unfortunately passed away on July 11th include composer Jose Melchior de Nebras Blascu, who passed away in 1768 at the age of 66. Composer Adolf Kunzen passed away in 1781 at the age of 60. Composer Carl Wesley passed away in 1826 at the age of 57. The lyricist of the Czech national anthem, Joseph Thiel, passed away from an unknown illness in 1856 at the age of 48. Composer George Gershwin passed away in 1937 at the age of 38. Composer Timothy Popovici passed away in 1950 at the age of 79. Record executive and songwriter Buddy De Silva passed away in 1950 at the age of 55. Jazz drummer Shadow Wilson passed away from meningitis in 1959 at the age of 39. Jazz pianist Erskine Butterfield passed away in 1961 at the age of 48. Composer Alexander Mosoloff passed away in 1973 at the age of 72. Pianist Boleslaw Wojtovich passed away in 1980 at the age of 80. Hubert Johnson of the group The Contours committed suicide in 1981 at the age of 40. Composer Carol Mengelberg passed away in 1984 at the age of 81. Beach Boys songwriter Roger Christian passed away in 1989 at the age of 57. Jazz musician Mario Bauza passed away in 1993 at the age of 82. Saxophonist Lefty Edwards passed away in 1994 at the age of 67. Jazz drummer Lex Humphreys passed away in 1994 at the age of 57. Louis Gottlieb of the group The Limelighters passed away in 1996 at the age of 72. Singer Helen Forrest passed away in 1999 at the age of 82. Pianist Herman Brood passed away in 2001 at the age of 54. Singer-songwriter Roscoe Gordon passed away in 2002 at the age of 74. Singer Francis Langford passed away in 2005 at the age of 92. Jazz pianist Bill Miller passed away in 2006 at the age of 91. Pianist Ferhund Erskine passed away in 2007 at the age of 98. Singer and actor Rod Lauren committed suicide in 2007 at the age of 66 after he had faced extradition to the Philippines for the murder of his wife, who he was accused of killing in 2001. Decided to take his own life rather than to go to prison. Composer Valentinas Bagdonas passed away in 2009 at the age of 79. Gospel singer Walter Hawkins passed away in 2010 at the age of 61. The Earl of Harewood and also the director of the Royal Opera House, George Lascelles, passed away in 2011 at the age of 88. Tommy Ramone of the Ramones passed away from bile duct cancer in 2014 at the age of 65. Jazz double bassist Charlie Hayden passed away in 2014 at the age of 76. Composer William Penn passed away in 2021 at the age of 78. The composer of the famous James Bond movie theme, Monty Norman, passed away in 2022 at the age of 94. And composer and conductor Yuzo Toyama passed away in 2023 at the age of 92. Next time on the Music History Today podcast, it is July 12th when, in 1979, Disco Demolition Night took place in Chicago, Illinois and turned into a riot. 